guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with episode number 8 of the gold edition of the Pac-Man Pack only Road to Glory. Uh, that's quite an intro and a half, isn't it? But uh, anyway, we decided at the end of the last episode that we are going to save for a 7.5 grand pack thanks to your uh, your feedback in the comments on that video. So thank you very much for uh, for all of your response to that. And we are indeed going to save for that 7.5 grand pack. So we've sold on Bradley Wright Phillips for a little bit, only 250 coins. But, uh, you know, every little helps, as Mr. Tesco would say. So uh, we're going to play a couple of quick games in Division 10 trying to raise that extra little bit of cash we're going in with this kind of Premier League influence side with a few extra additions for chemistry of course Sequeira and Dede they're the two Brazilians and the Danish centre-back playing at right back Albrechtson but we come up against a full Premier League side really really decent side with uh, a lot of uh, threatening players with Delefeo out on the right hand side Kone and Remy up top are going to be lightning quick so definitely going to be hard pressed to uh, to keep up with the, the pace of their play but we actually get off to a fantastic start lovely lofted through ball for Theo Walcott to run onto no one's going to catch him up great first touch fantastic second touch and a wonderful shot with the outside of his right foot into that far top left hand corner and five minutes in we do find ourselves 1-0 up and we couldn't have asked for a better start we were actually going to be on the offensive for the majority of the first half Flamini gets played in around the corner here draws a good save out of Simon Minile and now unfortunately Theo Walcott isn't able to make anything of the rebound effort but we are going to pick up a corner and a Sequeira actually has got decent delivery so he's going to whip it in Peter Crouch is going to go up head a great save from Minile again off the line so we come close to a second there and we're actually going to come even closer to a second and now this is going to play through Peter Crouch great turn through uh, the one first defender great turn through the second defender another outside sh of the foot shot and off the bar this time and now unfortunately Flamini on the rebound was offside so we weren't able to capitalise on a potential second effort but Marvo's going to break through here wonderful technique on that first shot good save but Crouch knocks it down to him and again with a right footed finish off the inside of the far post to give us a 2-0 lead half an hour in and a fully deserved 2-0 lead half an hour in it has to be said Great first save from Minile, but uh, that knockdown and a really nice technique actually to control it with the left and hit it with the right, all in the same movement. Really, really nice goal from Stefan uh, Silvan Marvo there, and I was quite. Uh, quite pleased actually to to be in a good position and they didn't have any chances at all in the first half so of course as you can imagine just a few minutes into the second half Fellaini with a ball roll and then a smack with his left foot brings them back into the game at 2-1 in the 54th minute and it's extremely frustrating to say the least but uh, we're going to try and pick up our two goal advantage again here and Peter Crouch shows great strength through uh, just out muscle Neymar Figueroa or main or Figueroa rather but it's a really poor finish Simon Mignolet on hand again to make another fantastic save and keep us at bay and I was disappointed in Crouch so he really should have finished that one and a mini lay is going to be thwarting us yet again Sylvain Marvo with another shot and it's well saved from uh, from the Belgian to keep us at bay for a bajillionth time this game Marvo again is denied by the goalkeeper and then uh, he's going to play the ball into Daniel Agger another good shot and somehow Minile manages to dive down to his right hand side get one hand to that and palm it out for a corner but uh, they're actually going to come on the attack late on in the second half Loic Remy has played through and I just cannot cope with that pace and he's going to pop the ball into the back of the net and I was fuming at the fact that this guy had been able to come back and get a point out of the game because as you'll see from the stats that are about to pop up on your screen we absolutely dominated the entire game 13 shots 12 on target and just two goals Unbelievable! Simon Minile is an absolute tank in goal for him in that particular game. So he swapped out the uh, the team we're playing for the second game, the uh, Serie A slash La Liga uh, based squad that we've got at the minute. We come up against a team with low chemistry, quite a few bronze players. There's a Jonathan Woodgate in there, Silva as well with Giroud uh, and Lewis Holtby, two Premier League players in there at uh, Cam and ST, alongside an Alessandro Del Piero up top. I, uh, I honestly didn't know he was still playing football, but he's obviously in the MLS. But we got off to a decent start. Ruben Castro with a decent shot, and then somehow Ben Foster makes a great save from the rebound. And I thought, oh no, not again. Surely we're not going to be denied by another fantastic goalkeeping uh, performance. But uh, Lewis Holtby is going to pop the ball into the top right-hand corner there. And I don't know whether I was put off by the fact that the messes came through and I got the notification. Uh, it's probably an excuse if I was to say that. But nonetheless, we go 1-0 down. And uh, we are actually going to go 2-0 down here. Del Piero with a beautiful finish into that top left-hand corner. I just couldn't get near him, trying to uh, put in a tackle. And uh, when I had control of the two centre-backs, I had control of the first one, went to make the tackle, and it switched to the second centre-back. And they both made a tackle, but none of them getting near the ball. You see there, one slid, the other one lunged. Neither of them got anywhere near the ball. And uh, unfortunately, we went 2-0 down. But uh, Dinier is going to stand the ball up here for Alberto Aquilani. And we're 
back in the game in spectacular circumstances. That is an all-out sensational goal from Alberto Aquilani. He scored a couple for us so far in this road to glory and that's just absolutely superb we will most definitely be watching all three replays of that goal the uh, defender went up to try and head clear and he almost got a whack in the chin for his troubles not really too sure whether Akulani shinned it or whether it was a clean at flush connection with uh, with his laces but nonetheless fantastic effort and that we're back in the game and then pushing into the second half as my players stamina just kind of waned a little bit with the uh, the level of chances just kind of dried up a little bit that was the closest we were going to come Tabby Prieto striking the inside of the post they're really unfortunate not to get us back on level terms and the keeper comes out here Ruben Castro Tabby Prieto is going to have this shot again and I probably should have well not even probably I definitely should have lobbed that rather than just trying to whack it past the goalkeeper because it was a comfortable save for me in the end and we're actually going to lose that game but again you can see from the stats 11 shots 9 on target 1 goal goalkeepers have absolutely killed me off in this particular episode we deserved maximum points from both games and I was so so frustrated only to pick up the one point but we're still on course for promotion if we can continue some good form in the next episode or two but we're going to uh, use that coinage that we've managed to earn we are just over seven and a half thousand so we're going to open a premium goal pack hoping for a decent rare player no we get Gabby no rare players whatsoever so we probably would have been better off opening a 5k pack and uh, saving the coins fortunately we get a thousand coin bonus but the two or three players we pick up obviously Gabby from uh, Athens to Madrid, great central, central midfielder. Nasser Chadley from Tottenham and Aaron Ramsey from uh, from Arsenal, of course. Weirdly, I thought all players came in packs with uh, with basic chemistry style, but Aaron Ramsey there has the architect on him. And as you saw, I put the uh, the cam to centre mid uh, position positional change card up on the transfer market just to help try and boost us towards that next pack that we will be looking for in the next couple of episodes. But that can, that is going to bring this one to a close. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy that'd be absolutely superb of you if you could do that for me and also if you're not subscribed feel free to do so there's plenty of ultimate team and career mode here on chesnoy gaming so there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over the pac-man so that you can subscribe to the channel and if you missed the previous episode which of course came out on wednesday then there will be an annotation on screen over the pink ghost for you to check that particular video out but that's going to bring this one to a close so thank you very much for watching guys we'll be back tomorrow with another world cup squad builder so uh, i will see you next time